See, the point of this video is to show you a few different popular, whoa, almost fell there, to show you a few different popular overstable approach discs and to compare them to see, you know, what's better. So in order to do this, I've thought of a game. I will throw each disc one time starting at 120 feet, move back to 150 feet, and finish at 200 feet. Every time that disc lands within circle, it'll be worth one point. Everything within five feet, that'll be worth three points in case a disc is lacking behind at the very end. Could have potential to catch up just to hit a bullseye. To make things more interesting and show you the true flights of these discs, at 120 feet, I will have to throw a backhand Kaiser. At 150 feet, I will have to throw a forehand. And at 200 feet, I will have to throw a flex shot to get it inside circle. Now, knowing I have to throw forehand at two out of the three shots, this is mostly a forehand dominant dominant competition, mainly because that's what I'm using these slower speed over stable disc for. Meanwhile, I will be giving you my comparison, my thoughts and reviews while I throw these discs. The disc that I will be using today is the Ricky Waisaki Slammer, the ESP Discraft Zone, a harp with the Chase and Chains logo on it, and one of the Ricky Waisaki Pigs. All somewhat similar, all slow speed over stable disc. Let's see how this pans out. The pig and zone off to an early two point lead hitting in the bullseye from that short of a distance. It's a little bit hard to compare those discs. What I'd like to say about those shots in general is the pig just feels overall the most comfortable in the hand. It's a little bit more thick on the outer rim here. The plastic feels very smooth and very tacky, which I really like about the pig. Now it's no surprise that the pig and the Saki Slammer kind of feel not necessarily the same, but closer than the Zone and Heart. The Saki Slammer feels a bit deeper than all the other three discs, and it has another lip just like the pig. Saki Slammer, Saki Pig, it totally makes sense. He wanted to design this similar to the pig. As far as the Zone and Harp, they feel very similar. The Harp has more of a lip on that outer rim here rather than the Zone is more smooth on the lower part. But in general, they feel a bit more similar in that forehand grip and that backhand grip. Now here we move back to 150 feet with a forehand throw and really where I want to be throwing these discs within this 150 to 200 foot range. Slammer barely missed bullseye that time and it was actually the zone once again that hit bullseye. You can definitely tell I have more experience with the zone overall. Starting with the pig, I didn't give you a clear representation of the shot because I threw it too low and I threw it poorly. From those shots there, I feel like the harp didn't feel as stable as the zone and the slammer. I'm sure there are some wobbles coming out of these forehands from me, but overall the zone felt like it fought back a little bit harder as well as the slammer. Part of me feels like the slammer doesn't necessarily want to push straight for very long, that it wants to more just get to the ground. So it takes a lot more power to actually get it to fly, which hopefully we will see on this next shot at 200 feet.
well there you have it the discraft zone honestly it's a little bit unfair because this is what i bag i bagged the zone i don't i haven't ever bagged a pig a slammer or a harp so it is a bit unfair next leader was the pig and then you had the harp and the slammer so let's get down to the overall thoughts of these discs starting with the slammer clearly it came in last it is the deepest out of the other three and i would say the most stable out of the other three discs that i threw today at that 200 foot shot it felt really hard to get it inside circle after the challenge i played around with it a little bit more from that 200 foot shot and it just felt like it was really hard to get to the circle sometimes i burned it into the ground other times i didn't give it enough height and other times it simply just faded out a bit too soon seemed really hard for me to control Next up going with the harp. The harp was the most similar to my hand because it feels somewhat like the zone. It's slightly different because of this outer bottom edge is a little bit more pronounced than the zone. The zone is a bit more straighter down there and smoother but overall the depth of it kind of feels similar to the zone. I felt like the harp was more touchy than the zone and it's not as stable so those forehand flex shots were really hard for me because I felt like it took a lot more touch than something more stable. Then coming in second was the pig. Now the pig felt really really comfortable in my hand but as I kept throwing it I felt like it was really hard to get a clean nice release out of the hand. I felt like the pig was going to be more stable but when I try to throw it on flex shots, mind you this could be my form, felt more of a turnover shot in that it didn't really want to come out of it. Once again I'm sure there's wobble within my form but even the zone, the harp, they were a little bit more consistent at actually getting to the basket. As of this I felt like it was just kind of going everywhere. And last but not least, today's winner, the ESP Zone. Once again, this challenge probably wasn't all the fairest because I am the most confident and comfortable with the zone as this is the disc I actually bag. The zone isn't too deep, just shallow enough to feel good on that forehand grip. It's got a perfect amount of stability in my opinion where it doesn't want to necessarily just drop out and dump off immediately, but it still fights out of the Anheuser lines. On the course, I'm finding myself throwing this flat to a consistent fade or I'll put it on a little bit of Annie and actually trust that it will pan out of it. It's really not too terribly much to say about the zone but it's by far my favorite and the winner of today's challenge. Anyway guys that is the end of this challenge and end of this video. Let me know which one that you guys bag and which one you like better down in the comment section. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you on the next one.